friends in this video we will study about the various types of serial data transmission modes like simplex duplex and half duplex full duplex okay so let us start with our topic <music> talk about communication between two components or we can say two equipments or devices so communication means that data transmission means transfer of data is taking place between the two components so here if we say that we are having a component number one and this is a second component so if we say that these two components they are communicating with each other means data transmission is taking place suppose one component it is sending the data and the second component it is receiving the data so this is the data transmission so communication is nothing it is the transmission of data from one uh, component to another component the component which is sending the data will be called the transmitter and the second component which is receiving the data will be called the receiver now this data transmission between the components it can be of two types serial data transmission and parallel data transmission In serial data transmission, whatever data the transmitter wants to transmit to the receiver, that data will be sent one by one. Means if we are sending an 8-bit data, then each bit will be sent at one time. Okay, so one by one the bits are sent. That is why it is called serial data transmission. In a sequence, the bits are transmitted and one bit at a time whereas in the case of parallel data transmission all the bits are transmitted simultaneously So that is the two types of data transmission that is serial data transmission and parallel data transmission. Now in this video we are going to study the types of serial data transmission modes that how many ways in how many ways the data can be transmitted in the case of serial data transmission. Now when data is transmitted between the two equipments, it can take three modes and these three modes are So whenever data is transmitted between two equipments, three communication modes of operation can be used. And these three modes are, first is simplex, second is half duplex, and third is full duplex. So these are the three modes of operation means modes of communication between the two components which are transmitting the data between each other. So let us see that what are these three modes. First we will study the simplex method. In this simplex mode of communication, there will be two components. One will be the sender and second will be the receiver. Now the sender is always going to send the data to the receiver. 
the receiver cannot send back the signals to the sender so we can say that in simplex mode of communication the direction of flow of data is in one direction only two way communication is not there means the sender is always going to send the data and receiver is always going to receive the data no back communication can takes place so if we draw the diagram suppose this is our component a and this is our second component b now component a it is sending the data to the component b so that will be the sender and b will be the receiver so here we can say that we are having one way communication only sender will always send the data to the receiver receiver cannot send back the signals to the sender okay so whenever we define the simplex communication uh, data is transmitted in one direction only talking about its example example is from a computer to printer computer is going to send the command to the printer that it has to print a document printer cannot send back the commands to the computer so this type of communication between a computer and a printer it is called a simplex data communication a simplex data transmission mode okay one way communication is there that is from computer to printer only back communication is not there and uh, computer is the sender it is sending the command and printer is the receiver which is receiving the command to print the document second type of method is the half duplex in the half duplex method two way transfer of data is possible but that two way transfer means at a one time only one way transfer is taking place two way transfer is available means the sender can send the commands means there are two components they can send and receive the data but at a time only one way transmission will takes place okay so in the half duplex two way transfer of data is possible but only in one direction at a time so if we draw here this is component a this is component b a can send the commands or send the data to b b can also send the data to a but at a time only one data transfer will takes place means at a time if a is sending the data to b b cannot send the data at the same time to a okay so here one at a time okay transfer can takes place in both the directions but only one direction at a time Okay, so this is a type of half duplex mode of communication. Next, we have is the full duplex. In full duplex, both the ends they can receive and send the data simultaneously. Means the two-way transfer of data can take place simultaneously. A can send the data to B, and B can also send the data to A at the same time. So that is called full duplex. Half duplex, one way, and uh, means one at a time. In full duplex, both the ways at the same time. Okay.
so both ends can send and receive data simultaneously if we draw the diagram this is a this is component b it can act as both sender and receiver b can also act as both sender and receiver and the transmission of data can take place in both the directions simultaneously or we can say it's a two way communication A is both sender and receiver. B is also sender and receiver. And this type of communication, full duplex communication, it is common in PCs. Okay, when two PCs are communicating with each other, that is also a kind of full duplex communication. In the PCs, also we find out this full duplex mode of communication. So in this video, we study the types of serial data transmission modes: the half duplex, full duplex, and simplex mode of communication. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.